Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video. I was just thinking about the new stealth jet that's coming to GTA Online. The fact that this jet is a piece of what's to come in GTA 6, as are a lot of all the other DLC cards that we've gotten over the past few years, as well as the features that the thing is going to have, and ultimately how the jet is possibly going to be used in GTA 5 Online. So let's get right to it. So we know so far that the jet is going to have hover and stealth capabilities, that much we know. What we don't know is the capabilities of the weapons that are going to be on board the jet, so to try and figure things out, I had another quick look at the announcement trailer for the DLC, and it's here in this quick part of the trailer, where for a handful of frames you can see the machine gun of the jet being used. Now it's very subtle, but we can see that not only are the machine guns on the jet explosive, like the Hydra and the laser, but like the laser, the machine gun layout is set very similar to it, having the machine guns mounted at the stem of the wings. Now unless what we see here is being shown just for dramatic effect, I think it's safe to say that the jet griefers are gonna love this thing. But it doesn't end there because this jet has stealth capabilities of course. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, unless this jet is going to have a very unique game mechanic, like how the Ultralight had its option of a stealth propeller, and then you ran the engine at idle to get stealth capabilities, I think it's safe to say that the stealth will work just like that of the big stealth jet that I can never really remember off the top of my head. What was it, the Alkanost? So the jet will have to fly above Chiliad or Maze Bank Height to become stealth mode. I think this is likely as a stealth jet that can go invisible on radar close to the ground is grounds for an immediate nerf called by the community because that would be overpowered as all hell. What I'm thinking of is this jet will likely only be stealth when at high altitude, the same height that most planes get a speed boost from GTA 5's weird flying mechanics. As a result, this is how I foresee a lot of players using this jet. In the game War Thunder there is a terminal Technology that players have dubbed the boom and zoom tactic, where the pilot flies the aircraft at a high altitude, then from there they pick their target who is down below, then once they're ready, they fly in, attack the target, then quickly return to the altitude that they were once at before. I think people will likely do the same thing in GTA Online with this jet come its release. They'll fly high enough for the stealth to take effect, they zero in on their target using the pause menu map and then using a keen eagle eye from above, they swoop in, giving only seconds for the players down below to react, oh, kill their target and then return up to high altitude. The only thing that's left is the questionability of the effectiveness of this strategy. It all really depends on how fast the jet travels, as well as the rate of fire that the machine guns have. In the trailer it's shown to be firing about as quick as the likes of the laser and the hydra, but we know now that we can't really believe everything that we see in trailers. Remember that whole bombing showcase fiasco with that bomber plane like a year or two ago? Yeah, I'd be vigilant if I were you. Anyways, that was just a thought I had regarding the new jet that's coming out tomorrow. And you betcha I'll be making a guide video on it as soon as possible, like, it'll be the first video that I'm gonna make on the DLC, cause I know everyone is gonna be wanting to know if this plane is gonna be good or not. Anyways, I thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you around, my dudes.